I offered Randy $2 billion to fish with him. He said, sorry, I already promised Reggie he could go. This is Boom Lake. It is located in the heart of Rhinelander. Boom Lake is actually a flowage on the Wisconsin River and offers a convenient option for outdoor recreation. The public has access through this huge parking lot located in Hodag Park. You can find more info on this lake and other lakes we've fished at goldmidwestfishing.com. We are not professional fishermen, just people who love to fish, and we are so glad you're here. My name's Randy, welcome to Go Midwest Fishing. Okay, this is day two of Reggie and I on our Rhinelander ice fishing trip. We're going to be here for three days. Yesterday we did George Lake. Today we were going to Thompson Lake. That was the plan anyway. When we got to the landing, it was just a very small landing. No place to park and no trespassing signs everywhere. And uh, we couldn't really park anywhere. So we're like, ah, let's go somewhere else. So Boom Lake is the other lake that uh, we heard all the residents around here talking about saying it's a good lake to fish so we're out here now it's right in the middle of town there's a city park right there with lots of parking spots so a lot nicer you see some well there's see that little line there just dropped off from where my bait was which did my minnow head fall off <laughs> so we're at spot number one it's uh just off the landing uh our navionics map showed there was fish here I don't know if that's true or not, but there's a shack right beside us. There's a bunch of holes here, so we thought it might be a decent spot. We're at 20 feet deep, and it's really dark down there. We got a normally I like to show you the underwater camera view, but it's so dark we can't even see anything. Right now I got the aqua view with the infrared on, and I can I can't even see my bait about a foot and a half away. So uh, we probably won't stay here long. We'll move over. There's Looks like, I mean, there's shacks all over out here right now, and there's it's pretty deep, but there's a couple little humps here and there, so maybe we'll try on some of those. How do you hang out with your life on a little more on that one? Was kind of all over the place. Really? He went over the ridge and the sled was right up against the ship. Yeah. Yeah, this ice is terrible. Spot number two, we're up on a little ridge. There's like a point over there and a point over here. And it's kind of a ridge where they join together. So we're up in about 14 feet of water. Try to get a little shallower. Hopefully the underwater cameras will pick it up a little better. Still too dark for the GoPro, so I'm just recording off my aqua view, which is not the greatest, but at least you'll be able to see something, hopefully, if it hits. I thought I saw a couple of fish when I first put it down. Seems like most people are out a little bit deeper water. We're just right on the edge as it starts coming up. So hopefully there's something down here. No, we ain't seeing much at all. Here's, here's what we're looking at down here. I mean, there's my bait swimming around. There's the fish finder. Nothing but my camera and the bait. I don't know. I'm not too impressed yet. I mean, we've barely seen a fish. Just right here when we put the camera down, we thought we saw one. Might have been. 
But what I don't get is, so everyone's kind of fishing out in the middle here, where it's just kind of flat and deep, and there seems to be real no structure out there. But on the uh, Navionics app, it shows just beyond those, where nobody is fishing, it shows a whole bunch of fish cribs. And I don't know if it, the map is lying, <laughs> but I think we're going to go there next and uh, put the cameras down and see if there actually is cribs down there. It might be, uh, I think it's 20 some feet deep over there, so it may be too deep to really see. Because I don't know, there's a lot of slush on the weather. Well, it's been a crazy year. The uh, We got some good ice and then it warmed up and then it got cold and got warm and then it rained and then it snowed and it, it was just crazy. Now we got a good layer of slush on the lake that is frozen over. I don't know if it's just absorbing all the sunlight and it can't get through to the bottom. But we can't see very well under the ice, which is kind of annoying. It did. <laughs> that was my minnow head that fell off. <laughs> this spot's not very good. I think we should move to another bad spot. The shacks out here are just like scattered all over. Usually you see them in clumps, you know, where there's a good spot. They're really just widely spaced all over the place so maybe it doesn't matter where you fish out here uh, all right you get to go free for not catching any fish He says screw it. Do we? <laughs> we do one more spot. I don't know what time is it? It's 12 16. I mean, if we sit here any longer, there's no point to going to another place. No, that's true. Alright, I think we're going to go to a new lake. Alright, that was a real short stay on Boom Lake. Uh, positives everyone around here seems to think it's a great uh, lake. <laughs> And it probably is. We didn't, you know, check it out that much. Uh, right now, it's, you know, January and the ice is terrible. So it's really slushy. You got to be careful where you go. So and a couple other good things is it's, it's right in town. It's very accessible. It has a big parking lot. There is an ice fishing contest here February 11th, it says. So must be good enough for that. And there is a $5 fee, though, to use this landing. So that's the downside also. But uh, in Rhineland here, there are a lot of lakes, so we're going to go uh, find another lake to fish right now. If I was fishing this lake, I would have caught all the fish in this lake because fish love me. I am the best fisherman that has ever lived. In fact, many of my best friends are fish. And don't forget to watch Randy's other videos. They are phenomenal. <laughs>